Good morning. Back inside a vehicle this morning because of the weather. But hey, I love reading the Bible no matter where I'm at. I want to talk to you this morning about the joy of the Lord. You know, Nehemiah, the prophet, said the joy of the Lord is your strength. And I believe that today. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And you know, there's many ways that we can express our joy and the joy in the Lord. I, I look at Paul and Silas when they were in jail, beaten chained, no doubt hurting, uh, maybe from head to toe. But instead of dwelling on it and what had happened, the joy of the Lord that they had within them brought out praise and singing songs to the Lord, not sitting there and, and complaining and uh, down in the uh, mully grubs, as we like to say down south, but they were praising the Lord. And what caused that and what made that possible was the joy of the Lord that they had within them. And you know, we see that several places here in the Bible, in the book of John, it talks about the joy of the Lord. And Paul even said that uh, when he was in prison, and I believe it's in Philippians uh, chapter one, he said that, hey, they meant it for bad. They meant it to do anything but good. But Paul said, I have found strength and my beatings, I have found strength in my jail time. And what happens is, he said, the joy of the Lord, and I believe he was thinking about Nehemiah in his mind, the joy of the Lord is my strength. With the joy of the Lord in my being, I can get through anything. And Paul was a clear example of that. And if you go over to John chapter 15, and let me get there right fast. We have many ways that we can see how the joy of the Lord helps us. We have the joy of the Lord when salvation comes into our life, found in Luke 19 and 6. We have joy at baptism, being baptized as Jesus was baptized in the Jordan in Acts 8, 39. Joy in reading the Word of God, Jeremiah 15 and 19. And I don't know about you, but every morning when I sit down or any time other than the, in, during the day after that, when I would read the Bible or study the Bible, I have joy that just swells up within me. There's joy in prayer. Praying to God, knowing that he hears and answers our prayer. There's joys in the times of troubles. James 1 and 2 says, count it all joy when we are persecuted and prosecuted just as Jesus was. Joy in persecution, Acts 5.41. And joy in dying as a believer, knowing that we're fixing to enter into the kingdom of God, into heaven that he has prepared for his saints. You see, this joy that is in our being is, is always there as a child of God. Happiness comes and goes and fluctuates with our surroundings. But that joy of the Lord that is deep within us, it's there. It stays there and gives us that strength that we need each and every day to live in a sinful world for our Lord and Savior. Jeremiah spoke that his serving God was like fire shut up in his bones. That was the joy of the Lord getting so strong within him it had to come out. And folks, today, that's the way we need to live our life. Don't dwell upon the bad things. Don't, when bad things come our way or trials or troubles or heartaches, don't dwell on the bad side of things. Dwell, let that joy of the Lord help us to get onto the good side, the positive side. Every side, every situation's got a negative and a positive. Even a battery does to crank up a car. But you know what? We have, we can dwell on the positive. Yes, I'm going through a trial right now. But I've got joy in my Lord and Savior to get me through it. Yes, I'm sick right now, but I've got a joy deep within knowing my Lord is my healer. Yes, I'm struggling right now with finances, but I know I've got a provider and the joy of my heart is in my provider, the Lord, our Savior. So you see that joy that we can develop in our life can get us through every situation. But that joy can only be found if we're living and serving Jesus Christ today as our Lord and Savior. And I pray that if you are, hold to that joy. Think of that joy, and if you're not, I pray that you'll give your heart and life to the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, I thank you today for that joy you gave us when we were saved. Lord, I thank you for that joy you gave us that's getting us through the times that we have here in this earth. Lord, we know today that that joy of the Lord is our strength. It is our, ex our excitement. It is our happiness. Lord, it is our knowing that we are walking with you and you are walking with us. Lord, that joy will get us through anything that comes our way. And as it says, right up to the point of when we take our last breath here, 
that joy will be there to give us the strength to know that we're going on to be with you in that land that you have prepared for us. God, I pray today that joy will ever be there. That joy will always be lightening up my life, God, and showing them how much fun and how much joy and happiness is serving you. God, I praise you today and thank you for that joy you put in each and every believer. And God, may today we love you and serve you is, is, is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. May God richly bless you.